Good morning. Well, I broke the uh, Sweet Escape 3 out of storage. <laughs> it's been sitting in the garage just hanging there for uh, since um, September of last year, 2016, when I finished up my Great Divide trip. So I'm, uh, I got it down, uh, kind of just went through it, took a bunch of pictures of, the, of different things that I want to update. So uh, I just wanted to go through uh, some of those things and show you what, uh, what I'm going to be updating and what I'm going to be repairing and different things that I need to do before I set off on my South America trip. So the entire drivetrain basically needs to be replaced. Uh, the, the cassette needs to be replaced, the chain needs to be replaced, the chain rings um, need to be replaced, maybe not the, uh, the big chain ring, but I'll probably just go ahead and change that anyway. The brakes aren't bad. Uh, they're, you know, I, I probably will replace the rear brakes, the rear brake pads anyway, they're re replaceable pads, so that should be pretty straightforward. The front brakes are um, looking pretty good, so I'll probably just keep those. On the kickstand, this little, it's a foosball, and uh, it just, I need to replace it with something else. Maybe just get another foosball or uh, a golf ball or, or something, a foot that, that doesn't slip down on the, on the leg needs to be done. I had taken the pedals off and moved them to a different bike. Uh, when, I, when I did my uh, Great Divide tour, I had flat pedals, but the previous two uh, pavement tours, I had SPD pedals. So I haven't decided yet exactly what I'm going to do there. The, the Dino Hub, uh, I haven't used it in a while. I didn't use it on the Great Divide tour, and I ended up just disconnecting the wires. Um, so that I could pull the tire off easier, to, more easily to fix a couple of flats that I had. So I just left those wires hanging. So I need to, to do some repair work there. And the, uh, the little, I don't even know if that's focusing or not, but the, uh, the little charge controller, I had taped over it. I had taped over the USB port so it wouldn't get clogged up with dust. So I just need to confirm that that's still working okay. Up here on the handlebars, the um, bicycle computer, I love this thing because it has altitude on it and it works as a really good barometer. If, if I adjust the um, altitude every night, then when I wake up in the morning, I can look at the altitude and see if it's gone up or down to see it, you know, how the barometric pressure has been changing. Uh, this is kind of just here temporarily um, for the handlebar bag positioning, so I'm not sure if that's exactly correct yet. Uh, handlebar tape I think is good. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Shifters are all good. Brakes are good. Um, I think I'm just leave that the way it is. I'll probably leave the bottle cage here and maybe just go with one. I'm not sure if I'll add a bottle cage back here and I'm not sure if I'll add a bottle cage back here for fuel. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with respect to a stove just yet. The saddle's still in really good shape. It's 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 fitting well. There there it's picking up a little bit of rust here. Uh, I'm not that concerned about it. Um, it does squeak a little when I ride, but that's no big deal. As far as the tires go, these are pretty aggressive tires, and these are two point. I think these are two point one inch tires, and this is a twenty six inch wheel. So I'll, I'll go back to some tires that I had before if they're still in good condition for road touring. Um, I've got them sitting over there in a pile. I'll show you here in a second. But um, these, I'll just take them off. They're just, it's too aggressive for pavement touring. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here. I was having trouble in Canada finding 26 inch Presta valve tubes. So I may research drilling this out so that a Schrader valve will fit and then get a Presta valve insert because uh, I can't afford to um, not be able to find the tubes I need when I need them. So anyway that's kind of the way it stands right now. Let me just show you some of the excess stuff also that I'll need to be working on. Um, the handlebar bag is I'm gonna use that again. It's pretty old now. It's been out for um, 
12,000 miles in, I don't know, 4, 10, 11, 11 or 12 months of touring, but that thing is holding up great. All of the, the Ortlieb bags, rear and front, uh, the panniers, I need to go through them completely. I was having trouble on the divide with, um, with uh, this area right here, the stiffener, and it, because, I don't know if you can kind of see how it's sort of warped, I used to used to carry the sleeping bag in that bag and so it warped it would push the bag sides out I, I just think it's not the greatest of designs but I might be able to put a piece of metal behind that and sort of stiffen that up a little bit the other thing that was happening is um, screws were popping out a couple of screws popped out the other thing I really don't like is the cap nuts on the inside of the bag for for these, for all of these nuts and screws, the cap nuts are just, they're plastic and they, they encroach into the bag space. So I think I'm gonna, I've seen some suggestions online for, for um, doing kind of an update there. I don't even know if I'm gonna be using fenders. I've got the fenders there, so I just need to uh, decide if I wanna put them back on the bike. They're, they're still in great shape. Um, the frame bag, the half frame bag from Revelate that I took on the Great Divide Tour, I don't know if I'm going to take that again. I don't even think I need that space, but I just need to decide what I'm going to do. And then these um, Vittoria Randonneur Pro tires are actually great uh, pavement touring tires. I might throw those back on there. So anyway, there you have it. That's kind of the rundown. I'll know more uh, in a day or two. Oh, you know, as I go through the bike today and tomorrow, I'll uh, really check it out and decide what exactly I need to do to it. And I'll probably put a parts order in tomorrow because I need to order racks and I need to order potentially tires. Um, I need to order all of the drive co train components. So I'll put in a big order tomorrow, uh, but after I go, go through it completely.